the mobile home diva and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you this parker this is called the parker i'm out at oasis homes in augusta georgia and this home is called the parker let's go on in and see what the parker looks like i think you're going to absolutely love it family just a quick disclaimer i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home i record these videos because i love touring these homes and i share my personal opinion of the homes that i view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specifications all the information i have will be in the description box below now let's get back to the video all right so when you come in i'll leave the door open for light uh oh it locked on me <laughs> okay so when you come in you've got this little foyer area when you open the door your guests can't see directly into the house straight ahead uh off to the right is the living room but you've got this little space uh as a little foyer area so that when people come in, they know this is the dedicated space to take shoes off and what have you. You can put a little bench right here next to the door so people can comfortably take off their shoes before they enter the home. From the front door to the right, you have an open area. Your living room, dining room, and kitchen is off to the right. Uh, love the columns on that wall and how uh, they are... Uh, two-tone you have a lighter gray on the wall and these columns are a darker gray love that the recessed ceiling also has a hint of the darker gray in addition to the ceiling fan and beams in the ceiling this is a large area for a living room you guys so you have all of this space here that you can do what with what you choose i would put the tv on that wall so i can get it as big as i like and just have this maybe for a table with decor or what have you. But, you know, it's really up to you. That's what I would do with the home. Lovely, lovely home. Love the flooring in here. So pretty. It opens up to the living room, to the dining room, and the kitchen. Look at those three large picture windows. Oh my goodness, how lovely. Can you imagine being on a nice piece of land and being able to look out across the land or out at the pool or, or, or out at the lake or wherever you have this house? Love this big rectangular, uh, excuse me, this big square table here, but you certainly have room for whatever size table you like as, a, as all of this space is dining room space. So you have room for you know, a long table or a table that you can add a leaf to. You can put a buffet table in here or just whatever you like. Your kitchen light is light and bright, which I love because you have the darker floors, which I also love. You have this long island. It has the sink in the island, but you don't even notice it. Look how much space you have. Now with these stools, with this shaped stool, you can put three there, okay? So depending on how it's made will depend on how many stools, how your stools are made will depend on how many you can put at that island. But this is a large island, you guys. Look at the size of that island, okay? You've got all that storage space around the refrigerator, so you've got ample pantry space in addition to counter and cabinet and drawer space over here by the refrigerator and built-in microwave. You've got your dishwasher in the island, but you've also got four cabinets. So you've got lots of room under there um, for storage, which is a plus. You've got shelves in there. So really nice. Uh-oh. And then let's see if you've got a shelf. Yep, you've got a top shelf in there. So really nice. Really nice. So that, this is 
me standing at the stove, looking out into the living room and dining room. Now to the right of me, we have this laundry room right here. You've got your back door there. You've got a space for your washer and dryer. What I appreciate about the laundry room is you've got this cabinet space in between the washer and dryer. So you have space to fold clothes and you have shelving up above. Now over here, you've got space if you want to add additional pantry space, mudroom area, laundry, I'm um, excuse me, deep, uh, deep freezer, whatever you would like to add over here. This is a large laundry room, you guys. So you absolutely have space to do that. Really pretty. Really, really. This is a bedroom, how big this is. That's your AC unit in there, so you won't have space to put uh, closet space there because that's your AC unit, but you have really enough area in that corner to just maximize the space that you need. Now, to the right of the living room, you have your additional bedrooms. The first room to the right is bedroom number one. Really nice size bedroom. This is bedroom number one. You've got a walk-in closet in, your, in this bedroom. Okay? And all of this is bedroom number one. This is the size of a master. I'm sorry. This is a large, large bedroom really really nice so that's bedroom number one next to bedroom number one you have bedroom number two all right and then you got a walk-in closet there that i would bring the shelving at least around around here okay All right, so that's bedroom number two. And then you've got your guest bath right here. Lots of counter space for your guests or your children. Lots of space in this bathroom for everyone. Really nice. So this is off the dining room, down that hall. Now, back through your living room toward the front door, You've got your master. All of this is master. Now, if you look at the size of the additional bedrooms, you know the master is going to be huge. This is a this is a large master, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. So much space here in this master. Look at this. I'm standing against the wall. You've got your master closet. The walk-in closet right here. That's your master closet. And then through here, you've got your master bath. Double sinks over here. You've got your toilet in that corner. Love the tile in this huge shower. You've got a window that opens in here, you guys. Love, love, love the tile in the shower. Love it. Makes it bright and clean, clean lines. And then your soaker tub is over here. Really nice. Really, really nice. This is the Parker. It's a Clayton Homes. It's a Clayton Home. Clayton Homes Home. And it's called the Parker. All right. All the information to this house and this dealership will be down in the description box. If you have any questions about location, pricing, specifications on the home, please give them a call. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.